product that you help co-create. Absolutely. This is called the Nonstick Miracle Meatloaf Pan by Chef Tony. Thank you. Um, and this is two easy payments of $6.48. I'm just going to let you know right now, all the only two colors that we have left are red and the black. Um, not coming back. You're getting 14 recipes that will help yes. you bake um, meatloaf that has been stuffed. Stuffed, stuffed on the stuffed inside. on the inside meatloaf. Call us and let us know if you own this. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and especially if you have your own little recipe that you've decided to try and you want to share it with us too. Okay, That's so what is thing. this? Since I was a boy, my mom and my aunt and auntie always stuffed meatloafs. Their attitude was, if you can put it on the side of the meatloaf, why can't we shove it on the inside of the meatloaf? Okay. So I'm just going to start with right here. I want to open one up so everybody okay. kind of gets their, their palate going. So what we did is we took the stuffing and placed it on the inside. So now we have a beautiful beef outside for the meatloaf, mm -hmm. but on the inside is ham, asparagus, and fresh cheese. Oh. So it's like a cordon bleu, and in my book, I actually gave a chicken recipe so you could do a chicken cordon bleu meatloaf. Whoa. Isn't that cool? And, and I'll show you how we put it together. Your guests. Watch this. Now, this okay. is so cool, okay? okay For ready. all my friends that like a little Spanish twist, this is a burrito. So, oh. what we did, we made the cavity, we took a burrito, <laughs> some fresh salsa, popped it on top, a little bit of jalapeno, baked it off in the oven, and then you can do a spicy um, tomato sauce on the top. But again, you're taking all those good flavors yeah. and you're putting it on the inside. I'm going to do one more because you mentioned right. it before. Remember okay. you said Italians and meatloaf? Yes. Okay. So okay. you see this one? Yeah. The outside is a meatball recipe for the meatloaf. Okay. <laughs> this is going to flip you out. All right. Let me just open I, it up and show you. My husband would, his, he would be drooling right now. <laughs> oh, come on. Fresh monogotte. We put two monogottes on the inside, marinara sauce, some fresh basil. I'm going to actually cut this open. And I'm going to place this. Can you grab that plate for me? I will. I'm going to place this here, and I'm just going to let you stare at that for a second because oh, that a lot. is beautiful. Look at beautiful, that. Beautiful, beautiful. That is gorgeous. Can you seriously imagine how, if I do this for my mother in law, she would be so impressed? Absolutely. And it's easy. She would be like, Nancy? You cooked, you cooked just <laughs> stuff in meatloaf? Oh, like, come on. Come on, Sally. I'm actually a very good cook. But that's pretty special. But it's got to be hard to do. It's, it, it, oh, it's so easy. Really? You make a meatloaf recipe. This okay. is actually a turkey recipe with dark and white meat. So what you do, you take two thirds of the meat, place it on the inside. Now this actually sits on a very special tray. Can you see the holes in here? Yeah. When you place this inside my pan, that meatloaf is raised above the grease and oil that drips off. Okay. So you're never going to get that soggy, oily type meatloaf. All right. Then you take our cover, which is two staged. You can see that this has a little square piece or rectangular. Mm -hmm. When you press this down into the meat, it makes the cavity for you. So now you know exactly where your stuffing goes. Okay. Now you take whatever you want. You can take cold cuts, <laughs> mac and gosh. cheese, all your leftovers, place it on the inside, layer on the rest of your uh, meatloaf recipe. I'll just to save time show you that. Then you take this and reverse it. When we press, it seals and locks in all the sides of the meatloaf. So now you're going to have a perfect loaf. Oh my gosh. You take this, you pop it in the oven. Yeah. The magic of TV will take out that exact recipe. First thing we want everyone to see. This oh. is my favorite part, so I'm just going to take this out. How hard is it to take a meatloaf out of a pan? Oh, yeah. How easy is it to take my meatloaf out oh, of the pan? Well, it just nothing. It didn't take but two seconds, because usually you have to go around it with a knife and kind of scrape and it exactly. off, and you hope that you get a full piece. And then you spray in the pan, which these yeah. are all nonstick, and they're not just made for meatloaves. You can do stuffed peppers in here. You can use it as a baking pan for all your, I mean, just look at all of that grease and junk that's coming out of there. Yeah. And it's not sitting in my meatloaf. It's draining away from my meatloaf. Okay. Let me cut this one open, because this yeah. is one of my favorites. It's called my cold cut pie and everything I'm showing you today on air is actually in our recipes so I'm just going to cut a nice wedge here okay. I'll lift this up and let the camera take a look at this goodness look uh, at all that so this the flavor what? of the salami the flavor of the ham the provolone the mozzarella this? the prosciutto sure we'll place that right there so everybody can this. just get a really nice look uh, you, that was easy to make. Okay, I, come on over here because I got to show you the colors and let you know that how, what's going quickly is it the red? Okay, so the red is going very quickly. And if you want the red, grab it now. There's no reorder on Chef Tony's meatloaf pan. Um, and this is how you're going to make that stuffed meatloaf. It couldn't be any easier. But here, there are 14 different recipes here. You also have a choice of the black as well. K39240 is your item number. Pick it up for two easy payments of $6.48. If you are not satisfied and do not love it, send it back within 30 days, no questions asked. Okay, what do you, what, what kind of meatloaf you got going over here? Oh, we're gonna have some fun. Okay. This one, what we did is I took <laughs> a me. pork recipe, and okay. it can be ground lamb as well, 
And then I did a nice Greek stuffing like a Spananovica. So this is gonna be with spinach, Kalamata onions, uh, olive, excuse me, a oh, little bit of feta my cheese. Gosh, that looks awesome. You can do sun dried tomatoes. And I wanna say this to everybody watching the fun part of this is be creative. Take whatever you like in your flavor palette and pop it right on the I inside. I love it. Five different meat recipes, two beef one pork, a chicken, and turkey. Okay, now none of this may sound really dumb, sure. but can I make just a regular old meatloaf if I don't want stuff? Can I just make a regular meatloaf you, in this? Absolutely. That's where the origin of this product is. I think it's one of the best meatloaf pans ever designed, and I didn't design that portion of it. Mm -hmm. I designed the stuffing side of it. But yes, it is a loaf pan. Let me show you. It's not a meatloaf, but this is a beautiful cornbread. Remember, this is one of the best loaf pans you're ever mm -hmm. gonna have. So I don't have all the gook in here, but look at the color on that bread. Look it's at how beautiful. brown it is. And I'm gonna pop this open for everybody because really the secret is on the inside. Just look at that. Wow. That's what you want when you're baking. It's a great product. It's 100% non-stick. It's dishwasher safe on the top rack or you'll find that there's not really nothing sticks to it. So soapy water and a sponge, yeah. easy cleanup. Let me put this to the okay. side. This one is in honor of David. Okay. And my kids. Okay. All right. Da, 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 da. Uh, the first time we sold this, and I showed this to David, he about lost his mind. And we're talking <laughs> David Venable. That's correct. I like to call him David Venables within the kitchen with David. <gasps> you see that? <laughs> no, come on. Mac and cheese Mac in and there? Mac and cheese, yes. And it's done with fresh pancetta. Uh, or you can do smoked bacon. Or okay. you can put ham. Or you can put nothing. It's and up here, to you. And here's the thing. Um, if you're looking at this going and you're just tuning in, you're like, how in the world do they do that, that meatloaf? It's got to be way too hard. It isn't. It's easy as easy breezy. Um, the red is going very quickly. You're getting 14 recipes. Black is another choice. Two easy payments of $6.48. Get it home and start creating. Give yourself a wow. So here is how you do it, chef. Right, Tony, right? Take Shows. your pan, place on your lifter. Meat goes on the inside. Okay. We take our cover, we turn it around. You press into the meat so you make the cavity opening. And if you want to massage that a little bit to put more in, please do. <laughs> then you take your stuffings, place it on the inside. Okay. Take the rest of your meat, put it on top. You don't have to be fancy with it because this will this will actually seal it. Let me take the one okay. I put in the oven out. All right. There we go. And then this just reverses. And then when you press down on the meat, now it's gonna lock in the sides. Bring all the bottom meat and the top meat together, seals it, bake it, and ala voila. Ala voila is right. <laughs> K39240. Don't let this one go away. 900 gone already. Oh my God.